Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and this is the second video in a multi-part tutorial on building Alexa skills using Twilio Autopilot. Before continuing, please make sure there isn't an updated version of this tutorial, and you can do that by checking the description for a link to an updated video. If you see a link to an updated video, stop watching this and go watch that one. You don't want to waste any time watching outdated tutorials. Okay, with that, this is the second video, so we're picking up from where we left off in the first part. And what we did in the first part is we used Twilio Autopilot to set up a really simple Alexa skill. And all the skill does right now is just responds back with, this is your new task. That's all it does. It just responds back with, this is your new task. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change that up a little bit. And we're gonna do that by going back over to uh, Twilio. And in Twilio here, um, so when we set up our assistant by default, I mentioned in the first video that Twilio is going to set up a default task for us, which is kind of like a, a hello world, um, hello world task. And that's what's this hello world here. And that's what's speaking back this, this text here. So tasks in autopilot are the things that the assistant can do. How those tasks are performed are referred to as actions. And so tasks can perform one or more actions. This task here, this hello world task, all it's doing is performing this one action, which is speaking back this. And I'm, we're going to change this up. And we're going to change this to say, um, hello, you can ask me. Um, for our operating hours. It will build a skill that's like a, um, a, a business information skill that somebody could use to get info about a business as our example. So we're gonna start with the, the default being this text here and we can save this. We don't have to do anything other than just click save here to make this work in Alexa. We don't have to rebuild the model here and we don't have to rebuild the model uh, in Twilio, and I'll get into what I mean by that in just a second, but let's just test this out. Hello, you can ask me for our operating hours. Okay, so now I'm prompting the user for um, for uh, a question or to, to ask for operating hours in this case here. So that brings us to back to Twilio to our next topic, which is creating tasks and associating the things that a user might say with those tasks. And it's really easy to do under task builder here. You just want to click, click the uh, plus the red button here with the plus sign in it and add a new task. And I'm going to call this task operating hours like that. Um, and in operating hours, it's also going to default with an action, a say action. And the default when you create a new task is this is your new task. But I'm going to change that response text to, um, to say our hours are from uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whoops. Uh, I'll say Eastern Standard Time. All right, and I'll save that. So now I have my new task here. So the, the, the task again defines the things that the assistant can do. And in this case, the assistant can tell us what the operating hours are. But what I also need to do is I need to have a way for the assistant to recognize when a user is wanting that task performed. And the way that you're going to do that is with samples and samples are uh, samples of what users might say that are going to be used to train the natural language understanding model, the machine learning model that is backing autopilot. And to do that, we go to the natural language router here. And we add some samples in. Um, and so I'll say like, what time do you open? User might say that. And then we're gonna re respond back with the operating hours. Maybe what are your hours? And when do you close? And you get the idea here. So you would wanna 
add as many samples as you can think of. You, uh, of course, don't need to add every single possible uh, variation of what a user might say, but the more samples that you provide, the more accurate the machine learning model is going to be at recognizing when a user is wanting that task. And so when you do this, um, so we've got our samples here. When you, when you add samples or change things like adding new tasks, you're going to need to rebuild the, uh, the machine learning model. But before we do that, I'm going to come back to doing that. I forgot to do one thing that we uh, need to change here. We need to add an action to the hello world task. So right now, the only action that the hello world task can perform is just speaking back this hello. You can ask me for the operating hours, but we also need to add an action that lets it listen for a user's response to that prompt. And so the action is listen like that. And we just say true. And that is it. Save that. I forgot to do that. And so um, after, do, after you set up that action there, we can go back to the natural language router and build our model. And then we'll go back over to the Alexa console and test it out. So here to build the model, you want to go to build models. And then we don't have one yet. So we'll click the create your first model build. And I like using semantic versioning as my naming convention. I, I think you can use anything here that you want, but this makes sense to me. So version 0.0.1. And I'm going to submit that. And it takes a minute to build. If you've got a lot of stuff in here, it can take, well, the more complex the model is, the longer it'll take. But this, you can see, not very complex. So it went pretty quickly. Four seconds. It should be ready to test. So now if we go back over to the Alexa console and try this all over again. Hello. You can ask me for our operating hours. What are your hours? Our hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so that is, uh, that is it for this part of the tutorial. So we walked through creating new tasks and then uh, adding samples to associate those tasks or to associate the things the user would say with the task. And then we talked about actions and we looked at the speak action and the listen action. And last, we talked about building the, uh, the model. In the next video, we're gonna go into actions a little bit more and we're going to look at prompting the user for information or collecting information from a user that we'll use. So that is it for this one. Hopefully it was helpful. If you did enjoy this or find it helpful, please like the video. And if you're not already subscribed to the Dabble Lab channel, please do subscribe. Thanks so much.